Uh, thanks uh, again. Uh, I thought uh, I thought our guys were very sharp, very matter of fact in how we attacked. I thought our coaching staff took some chances early, which we talked about. Uh, uh, it's it's obviously uh, a big relief uh, for us to stop this little this streak we were on uh, and uh, beat a big sky team that had been scoring a ton of points against very good teams. Uh, I thought our defense was fantastic. Our special teams were excellent, uh, and then our offensively, I thought we executed in the first half. We were about as good as we've been all year uh, against a fairly solid defense. Uh, I thought we kind of took their spirit away a little bit uh, when we were able to get two touchdowns in the first two minutes. Uh, but then the game settled in, and we were able to move the ball down and score a couple other times. And, and uh, I thought stopping at the end of the first half was key for us. So, uh, and uh, we were able to keep number 25 somewhat contained. They made a couple circus catches on us, but that's what he does. They throw the ball deep to him and he can catch and run. And I thought we contained the quarterback pretty well. Uh, but all in all, it was a, it's a great win. Uh, get us to a chance. We've got two. We, we talked about it in increments of, of one at a time. Obviously, we've got two left. We've got Cal Poly and then we go to Lamar. And uh, we've got to take care of business next week against Cal Poly. Answer any questions. Yeah, the suspense is a little over missing about the first couple minutes. I mean. Well, I, you know, maybe for you guys it was a little bit, uh, and, and I, if, I guess if I was watching from the, from the stands, I'd probably think the game was over early, but you know, we, we've manufactured a couple losses down the stretch here in the last couple of weeks, and when you're not, you know, if we were winning those games, yeah, that game, blow, that's a blowout, you start stripping guys down, but, uh, but you know, we were, we're lacking a little bit of confidence. Uh, we had not played well in the second half in the last two games, and uh, we just needed a win, and we needed a win of this magnitude. Uh, against another uh, you know FCS team that's been in the Big Sky I think for seven or eight years now, uh, uh, so uh, it, it's it's good step for us, it really is. And a couple of those trick plays, do you think you guys were starting having a little bit more fun out there? We you know we talked about lighting up. Remember I said last week uh, I thought uh, we had hit a wall physically and emotionally and mentally. We spent a lot of energy in the Northern Iowa game trying to win a game and we didn't. We're still a little better than we are, but. Uh, um, we spent that energy, went out to uh, uh, southern uh, Utah, and just didn't play very well defensively at all. Um, if we had played remotely like this, that's a game we won, but uh, that's not how it goes. Uh, so we did lighten it up with some trick plays, and uh, I told the guys to take shots, and you got to take shots. Uh, we're not a team that's going to line up and run ice on power all the way down the field at this level. We could do it back in the North Central, but it's a different piece now. These guys, are, they're going to tap it. They care, they care about giving up run yards. Todd, you see the ball control was a you know, major factor. You had a 40, man had 15. So. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's yeah, it seemed like we had the ball quite a bit. And probably could have put some more points, but you know they, they play defense too, and they play Montana, Montana State, and Eastern Washington. So they don't sweat our talent. They line up against some dudes, um, and it played very good. Uh, some very good games. And I, was, I was impressed with it. But uh, again, big win for the Coyotes. Big win for our program. Every win at this level in their third year is a big win. We just keep. Anything in the left-hand column, whether it's pretty good, bad, or ugly, uh, it, it's important for us. Uh, you've seen some great catches out of Will Powell. Yeah. Uh, where would you put that, that first one today? Where would that be? In a, in Between him and Watney's. And, and those guys, uh, it's a little borderline ridiculous, uh, making big plays for us. And you know, he's done it all year. Uh, and people seem to like, why weren't we doing that the last couple of weeks? You know, it doesn't, a lot of times you're not put in that situation. and, and uh, we maybe didn't get the ball enough to will, but uh, we were able to do it today. And he was able to finish plays. He's a special player, you know that. But, uh, I thought our receiving core played very well all day. I thought Dante played very well too. Uh, just, just that great start you had. Mm -hmm. Given that you said you were maybe lacking a little bit of confidence, how important was it? Do you think for the team to all of a sudden be able to excel? Or... You know, we we we, uh, we talked about a lot room. We think people have checked out on us a little bit. We're, we're a good football team. We've lost a couple of tight games against some really good teams, and then for some reason people check out on it. And the only way we're going to get through this is together. And uh, they'll come back and jump back on if if you allow them. You win some games, they'll jump back on the bandwagon. And then uh, our kids uh, really put a chip on their shoulder. I thought all we can practice. And uh, you know the same players that were making plays three weeks ago when being pat on the back told how good they are. All of a sudden, you know, what do you think about that? They warrant your quarterback. Uh, what do you think about your offensive line? It's amazing how stuff is so fickle uh, when people really don't understand the game at all. Um, and uh, I'm just so proud of the way these guys lined up and keep neck and knocking people off the ball. Even in the games we lost down the stretch, these guys play hard all the time. And if that happens, you'll have a good team at, at, at the end of the year, especially as young as these guys are. They could have folded. Uh, 
they were giving them multiple opportunities to fold. And these guys have done a very good job, and I'm, I'm excited. You mentioned how well your defense played, and that was not one of your better players, too. I mean, yeah, Aaron yeah, Broders uh, took a catastrophic knee injury uh, on a high low last week. Uh, and uh, he's a miracle knee. He does not need surgery. He may play one of these games. If you saw it, you wouldn't believe it. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. It looked like the knee should have came off. Uh, but again, uh, yeah, Eric Leon played really well, and uh, everybody kind of stepped up a notch. Uh, I thought Shane Potter was very good again today, too. Held them to 47 yards on the ground, and that's key. That's the Big key. Uh, remember last week, we gave up yardage to a team that doesn't run the ball very well. Anytime you got a team that likes to spread you out and is able to run the football on you, you are opening up their entire playbook. We eliminated that section of the playbook, and that's what won the game for us defensively. Uh, I, I really uh, think that's important to be pointed out because the running attack was the exact same as we said we faced last week, uh, but we did not stop in the lick last week. Are you counting this as your first big Sky Conference win? Uh, <laughs> no comment on that, but uh, it's our first big win against the team in the Big Sky. We've had an old time loss, and so yes, uh, that's funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, any other questions for Coach? Anything else, guys? I guess the play by Zwie uh, Zwiefelhofer on the block punt. Yeah, I've never, I've never seen that in 18 years of football. Um, I didn't know. Yeah, we lost a game, if you remember, Mick, back at Mankato yeah. on the exact same thing on the last play of the game, but it was a field goal. And it went to their tight end, and he ran it for a touchdown. So the, the football guys finally balanced it out and gave us a first <laughs> down on that. Uh, it, wasn't, it was just a one-man rush, and, and Shane didn't make a very good play. Uh, and we were trying to corner kick to that side where the guy rushed, and uh, it wasn't any scheme problem. But uh, Coach Weefalfer is a very good athlete. I, I, heck of a, he's an all-state baseball player, he's a shortstop. Uh, he's, he's athletic enough to do it, and crazy enough to do it. <laughs> no doubt about that.